The chair was tipped over. The chair was tipped over. The chair was tipped over. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. It was Marquez's mother. The young Marquez had no idea of the fate that was soon to befall his family. The medallion Marquez's father wore looked identical to the one I'd picked up. The medallion Mar... It was definitely La Maledic Seal hanging over the fireplace. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledic Seal. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had scribbled the word Sans across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. The chair was tipped over. Hey, Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello? Oui? This is Inspector Nave. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his straps. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Flo, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? Thirty more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? 
bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. Fleur had given me a ball of string. What should I do with this yarn? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh, no, that's okay. Adam was listening to an old school portable CD player. Adam was listening to an old school portable. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Jean, what are you doing? I'm not sure yet, but there may be a plan for me. Go ahead, George. Take a few. Thanks. Bloomin' lovely as Mr. Hobbs would say. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, George. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. Fleur, can you help me distract that police officer at the front door? Don't you want to play the game yourself? Game? What game? Oh, I thought you knew. Never mind. Do you know Adam? A little. I see great distress in his near future. Funny, so do I. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. Anything you can tell me about this whiskey bottle? Not a spirit world I'm familiar with, Georges. What do you think of this medallion, Fleur? I think one day you will be glad you have it in your pocket, Georges. Nico? We're trapped. No way forward, no way back. Luckily, Inspector Nabe is no Sherlock Holmes. But Sergeant Mu is a problem. At the gallery, I just plied him with coffee. His bladder problem did the rest. Ah, that reminds me of my late husband. Pipi Pierre, they called him. I don't suppose you have a coffee machine, Fleur? I'm afraid not. I don't even have a kettle. Let's keep looking. There's always a way. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's foam. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee-pee. Bouquet labels. Pee-pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue.
Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. A cheap plastic imitation of the mannequin piece from Brussels. It took AA batteries and had a water reservoir. Fancy a drink? Whiskey. I prefer a cola. Well, I'm not a 7-Eleven, Adam. Adam was listening to an old school portable CD player. Adam was listening to an old school... That was almost a great... Nico? Any ideas? Not yet. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, Jean. You did? There's a... Tell me more about your late husband. Pierre. I used to call him my little P. Because he was so tiny? No, because of his water problem. If he went anywhere near a fountain, whoosh. Whoosh? He was off to the nearest pissoir. Pipi Pierre, his friends called him. Nice friends. So, Nico likes yellow flowers. That's right, Georges. What's this? Do you not know? Well, it looks like a cherub, and he appears to be having a pee. See? You do know what it is. It'll pee for France, if you fill it with water, of course. Can I borrow it for a bit? Yes, but please, don't break it, George. Can't you help me get past the policeman? I already have. That would be pointless. That wouldn't work. What do you think of this? I'm not sure. Do you like Brett? Ugh, smells like something died. Indeed. Many boffins died to bring us this scent. What should I do with this yarn? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh... Flowers? You're giving me flowers. Well, someone should have them before they wilt. Hey, maybe I could give them to Nico. Oh! Wow, uh, I just remembered. Uh, I really need them. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, George. 
But I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, Georges. I knew you were coming. You did? There's a 36%. Look at these beautiful flowers, Fleur. Yes, Georges. My flowers. But you can have them. There was nothing in the boxes as awesome as a peeing statue. I decided to leave him alone. That wasn't quite right. They didn't go together. That sewed. Well, that didn't work. Not a snow. Simeon's notes, whatever. Hey again, penny for your thoughts. Very good, George. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, good for you. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's gonna be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. George, any chance you could move that trolley so I can get out, please? I hope Moo didn't spot me. That wouldn't have worked. The CD was already playing. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes, just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy.
I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. A CD of ocean dreamscape with the relaxing sound of the seashore. Cosmic man. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. I placed the statue in the trolley. I was onto something, but I needed to do more. Nico? Any ideas? Not yet. Sorry to bust in on you like this. Don't worry, Jean. You did? There's a sick. Tell me more about your late husband. Pipi Pierre is from. So, Nico likes... That's right, Jean. Look at these... Yes, sir. I got you some beautiful tulips. Thank you, George. Can you hold them for me, please? I didn't want to mess with Adam's volume setting. There was no disc in the player. We needed to get rid of Sergeant Moo first. Nothing had changed since I last pushed the trolley outside. Doing it again was just going to make Moo suspicious. I wasn't sure that would be useful. Slouch it, wee man. Slouch it. Okay. That's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, 
I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Dobbs were having an affair? Yeah, so she's got some explaining to do. Bijou, I need to talk to you. Can't need to wait. I have such a sore head. No, it really can't. Oh, all right. In the daylight and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. How delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Do you know a painter called Hobbes? No, I don't think so. He certainly knows you. So many artists, darling. One can't remember them all. Hobbes appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la malediccio? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly fool is getting confused again. Would you like these lovely flowers? Please, no. Give them to your lady friend. I am not in the mood for flowers. Why are you showing me that? Bijou wouldn't be interested in that. Why are you showing me that? That's lovely, dear. That's lovely, dear. Why are you showing me that? I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. This is a note from Hobbes that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? Bijou wouldn't be interested in that. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. I think Henri asked Medofsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, honey. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. 
And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. Thank you.